So we are at the Feisty booth with my old buddy Andrew Shreve, and he's going to walk us through some of the new stuff that actually we heard about the other night at yeah. your uh, press reception. Yep. So where, where should we start? Well, we're going to start with the Masters series. We have had the Masters, an array of Masters rides in production for a few years, and now we decided, okay, let's go ahead and move forward and start to uh, add to the collection. And we have a Dark Crash. 16, 18, 20 Dark Crash, and the 14 and 15 Dark Hi-Hat. These were developed in collaboration with Gregory Hutchinson and also Didi Saccarelli. So we have the 16 Crash, Dark Crash here. 18. 20. Also great as a lighter ride as well. I was just going to say it. It sounds like you could ride that very easily. Absolutely. Beautifully. It, really nice spread on it. And, uh, yeah. And yet it's a little bit dry as well, so it doesn't stay too long into the, the context. Moving forward, we have the 14 and 15 dark eye hats. models in the, in the Masters. Uh, moving forward, we have new models that we have launched in the Signature Precision. We launched the Signature Precision last year, and we started with thin models. We had thins and standard weight crash, uh, China splash, and what we decided this year, it's time to just expand the line and introduce some heavy models. So the production is identical, the alloy is identical to uh, last year's model launch, but heavier weight. And also larger selection of crash. So we have a 16 heavy crash, 18 heavy crash, and the largest, the 20 heavy crash. We also brought in a 14 heavy hi-hat. And last but not least, a 20 heavy ride. And last year we launched a 22, just to give more uh, variety and uh, model selection to the consumers. So we brought out a 20. Let me ask you, we have the 20 inch heavy crash right next to the 20 inch heavy ride. In some ways they look very similar. So what's the challenge in uh, really defining one from the other sonically? Sure, well what it does is it'll come down to the weight and also uh, you know, sometimes the bell seems like it has a little bit of a lower profile as well, a little bit spread out. But primarily, it's, it's some of the, the hammering and the overall weight of the symbol, which will give a little bit more of the definition. For the 20, it has more spread to it. It's not, the, the ping is not as pronounced. Now, you can crash on this, yes, but it's not the primary function of right, this particular right. symbol. It's more of a you know pattern use. So for the ride, is there simply, is it a little bit heavier than the crash? Yeah, the weight is definitely heavier. Yeah, and, and the profile's a little bit different, but it's it's primarily also a weight thing. You know, of course, the alloy, alloy 
uh, the production techniques are definitely similar. But they change it a little bit, and some of the shaping, and again, the weight is what makes the difference. Great. Yeah. So we have some new root symbols too, yeah, huh? New roots. Now these are exciting because it's a fun story behind this. Alex Gonzalez with Mana, he's been with that band for, goodness, 20 plus years. They took a break and he wanted to connect with a number of other great musicians. I think a couple of the guys, uh, one or two of them from Sepultura, and basically wanted to play heavy style music and, um, and form DLT, which is a new band that he's playing in. Just a more aggressive, like darker metal, really loud stuff. And when he called me, he said, you know, I think I want to use the Roots this time instead of the 2002. So I said, absolutely. So, so he, ha he wasn't using the Roots series before? He was always primarily a 2002 guy. I'd say comfortably for the last, God, probably the last six, seven years. And he just said, let me change it up a little bit and go with a little bit more of an aggressive symbol that's going to work for that style of music. So we made him a couple, um, made him a couple custom models, different sizes, and and then Eric also heard that he was wanted to go into Roots for this particular band. So they started talking about prototyping and just exploring sounds. And the result is this, these models here. We have an 18 basher and a 20 basher. Really aggressive. They, they have a little bit of a cleaner. When I listen to these, they kind of have characteristics of a wild crash to a degree. And they also have characteristics of a root thin crash because they're clean and not quite as edgy as the crash ride, if you will. But yet they're a little bit drier than the crash ride, which kind of gives that little influence like the wild crash. And crash riding, you bash it. Hence. So he's going to be doing a lot of that. Really, really aggressive playing. But you notice every note's there. Yeah. And that's because of the... It's still articulate even though... Absolutely, yeah. yeah. It's yeah. because of the weight that was actually the, the, how it decays quickly, which gives you more of that quicker approach. But sometimes I have a longer decay. The second and fourth note is interrupted by one and three because of the sustain. Does that make sense? You know? It does. You, the, the other thing that's kind of surprising, and just looking at them, you expect more of a big sort of uh, gongy sound. But they actually have a nice high-pitched, uh, maybe not ultra-high, but they have a nice piercing sort of pitch. Yes, indeed. It's funny. He, can see, he thinks of these as a 2002 medium on steroids. That's how he always uh, yeah. describes it. <laughs> that's a really good designation. So what else are we looking at here? We have a 14-inch blast china. And it's very quick, extremely explosive, fast sustain. Great accent piece. And to round it off, we have a 12 and a 14 shred bell. The great effect symbols. He's doing a lot of effects. You know what? I, the interesting thing is that I could see a lot of different types of drummers integrating these, especially the bells, into their setup. It, it's not exclusively heavy metal. Fine example of that, Chad Wackerman. I showed him the That's array right. of new models. He hit these and he found them really interesting. He said, God, these would be fun to add in addition to the cup chimes and other you know, unique sounds that I have in the setup. You know, maybe we'll get them out and yeah. play these too. I know, so. Uh, that's pretty much the uh, the new launch for 2000. Thanks so much for showing us the new gear. It's always great to see you. All right. Take care. Have